Hey, what's going on? Uh, Evan Reckon, the dope flow spitter is here. And uh, yo, check it out. Today, 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 we talk about how you interact with other personnel in the entertainment business. And again, I real re remind you that entertainment is anything that uh, you know make people happy. So uh, yeah, uh, today you know I was working with one of my clients, and um, yeah, you know you got to understand that people do come from different walks of life, and that there are personalities that are different from yours out there. So it'd be best to, you know, not interfere with those, you know what I'm saying? Because ultimately, you got to have a good product in the end. Everything got to be finished and, you know, and completed, you know. So, you know, all hell may break loose, but the the work still speaks for itself. So, you know, uh, you know, uh, try not to put yourself in situations to where uh, you don't anger yourself and and pre-plan and uh, strategize and hustle for yourself because at the end of the day, you can't blame anyone for, you know, the things that you would do, you know. you. I mean, look, I mean, all right, this is, I'll use this as an example. All right, this is December. I can't, I cannot, like, sleep on hustling January, February, March, April, start hustling during May, then June a little bit, July, August, and then uh, get a little bit more serious, and then it get cold, and then you want to get serious and be aggressive with the hustle, you know, and especially if you've been dealing with people that have been hustling all year, you know, they're going to be looking at you like, dude, uh, no, you know what I'm saying, so, December is supposed to be a chill month, and, you know, just, you're, by December, you're maintaining, or you're still, depending on what type of hustler you are, you're aggressively hustling for 2018, and you're sitting back on what you hustled up January through June, July, you see what I'm saying, so, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, Take mind that, you know, that people that people are different spots in their careers. You know, people are in different times of their careers and you got to be mindful of, you know, if you're dealing with an expert, you got to be a certain way. If you're dealing with an amateur, you got to deal a certain way. If you're a CEO, you got to be a certain way. If you're an employee, you're going to be a certain way. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be real careful of uh, how you interact with other people. So... Yeah, that's just a little small smidgen of, you know, of understanding I put out today and, you know, and uh, this is just with hustling. And I mean, entertainment business, you can pretty much use this for anything because, you know, you're still going off of how much people would like you, you know. So, yeah, be careful of that and, you know, and, you know, alcohol and, you know, weed you know, you got to be careful, you know. Some people are aggressive drunks. You know what I'm saying? They start to drinking. <clears throat> you might want to back down some. You know, people do different things. So you got to be really, really, really careful about, you know what I'm saying, when you're dealing with people like producers and engineers and directors and stuff because... When 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 you're in a, a business relationship with another professional, you might not know it, but they when they film you, you know, you're in their hard drive, and and if you're a good editor or a good producer, you're always in your files looking around, you know what I'm saying? And I, it's one thing to hate you personally, but you never drive somebody to hate you on film. Every time they look at your face, they will loathe at your presence. 
And you know what I'm saying? People are still stuck so into the reality of things that they forget that, you know, that they're probably looking at your picture probably like about a few hours out of the day, you know, every time they go in to do some editing, depending on the frequency of the projects they're putting out, they're going to look at your mug. So, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and another thing is very important to remember because you still want your, if you're, if you're on an independent level, you, you pretty much want all the help you can get, you know what I'm saying? You don't need some producer hating you and not even, and you know what I'm saying? Dump your past history files and then you're left with like, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's not what you want to do. So, uh, there's reality, and then there's fantasy land. You can get hated in fantasy land, in fantasy. You can get hated in reality all you like, but if you get hated on film, that's a different story. You see what I'm saying? So when you're in the entertainment business, if you're film, music, or anything, kind of be mindful of the two. Me, personally, I don't really care what people do, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I people will say some rude things and be, you know, treat you one way or, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just like, yo, you save your pimp talk for the bitches and will you deal it with me? I'm going to have fun and I'm going to talk to some hot chicks. And if I feel like eating some cotton candy, <clears throat> then I'm going to go do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get a beer, go get in a limo, and go get, stop at the corner store, get some cotton candy, and then go find some hot chicks and go hop on a private jet and, like, go to Hawaii or something and, like, chill with hot chicks and drink at the bar. You see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you got to be real careful here, buddy. This is the entertainment business now. And to be honest, none of us is running anything. Because all we have to present is creative works of art. And I love my fan base. And I thank all y'all for watching. And like, like, and subscribe, and share. And uh, if you like what you hear, make sure you hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? And in the description box in the below. You know what I'm saying? If you, if, you're, if you make a little bit of money and you're trying to start something and Bitcoin is too expensive... Sign up for the BitConnect link and, uh, yeah, sign up on a BitConnect link and make sure Evan Reckon is your sponsor. And, uh, because I'm not really getting no, you know what I'm saying, no feedback really. <clears throat> but I'm getting, uh, y'all are starting to load in the referrals. So I am beginning to, you know, I am like, you know what I'm saying? I'm opening it up more and I'm explaining to you components and, you know what I'm saying, just showing you things that you might not understand to help you get a better understanding because this is your career. This is your life. You are a human being. You know what I'm saying? So, so stay tuned and use the links and buy the book and join the Facebook group and we all going to hustle and we all going to be happy. Thank you for stopping by and keep on watching. Bye.